Hey everyone, I'm back to talk to you a little bit about Alien Worlds. Um, I know many of us have actually started our foray into wax with um, Alien Worlds years ago, a year at least. Um, so I've been playing it for a while. I know my, my trillion balance is, is kind of low, but that is because I have already staked to one of the planets, at least one of the planets. You can actually stake to multiple planets now. Um, but there is the planetary syndicate now. I wanted to go over that and talk about how you can swap your trillium for the planetary tokens and, um, you know, just take a look at the different people who are running for the council or syndicate positions on their individual planet. So, this is Alien Worlds. Once you're in here, just go to the governance button here on the left or tab. <clears throat> and you can see the different planets that there are. So you want to pick up, I mean, I guess I'm mining on Magor right now. But if you want to stake to a different planet, you can definitely do that. I, I am, well, I'll get into who I picked because you will see later. But... I'm going to go to Vela's. So you go here. You, to start out, you know, pick the planet that you want to um, vote for candidates on. And you click on this convert. In this case, you're converting your Trillium to um, Vela's tokens, basically. So you click on that. It'll ask you how much you want to convert. I'll do like 10 more. I've already done 100 here. And then you convert it. Just click convert. It'll ask you to sign the authorization. <clears throat> so staking is successful for this. So then you want to go back to um, this side menu here on the right. Okay, so we want to look at the different people who are running for the syndicate positions here so we can check out who is on this planet it takes a little bit of time for it to load sometimes just gotta be patient um i guess i could have started at the planet details but here also takes a little bit of time to load come on you do have to before you um, you know, vote for somebody, you have to agree to the member terms of this planet has the entire, all like all the regulations for this DAO, read through all of it. I did before. And then you just would click on here and I'll authorize it. I've already signed this, but if you're doing this for the first time, you will have to sign that. And then hopefully this will pop up now. So sometimes you have to do a hard refresh in order for it to actually load. That is what I had to do in this case. But once you get it to load, you can see in the planet details who is running for the syndicate custodian positions here. You can just scroll down for this planet. There's um, 10 different people running for a custodian position. Um, you can vote for two of them with your, what you, you know, what you staked that gives you your voting power. And then out of the, the, the top people that you vote, each of them has five custodians. So the top five votes will be the ones who are making decisions on your behalf, um, using your tokens. At some point in the future, they will have the ability for um, different proposals made for the planet on how they want to be run that you that they would vote for on behalf of you as well. So something to keep in mind. <clears throat> and each of these should have like a little bio, you know, a little bit of something about them. I guess if you go to view the candidates, you can also see that. So if you click on them, You'll get your little bio. You can see how many votes they have and how much voting power that they have as well. And then the voting decay, which I believe that is 
the people who have staked to them as time goes by the voting power goes down of the of the token that they have staked to them so maybe if you continually stake to your candidates it might be beneficial for them let's see what happens if i i don't know if it'll let me pick two more people to stake to probably not i still have the same two <clears throat> so i can add my vote power here and going to pick a small time frame for now let's see i'll do a week and then i'll come back in a week and not in staking this i'm staking so it's just saying you know because i've already staked only be able to add my existing 10 tokens which is fine so that's why when i click max it only put 10. So let me stake 10 more to the people I've already selected. Yes, I want to stake that. Ask you to sign again. And there, I don't know if their voting power changed here. Let me refresh, check it out. Uh, the vote decay changed. Yeah, it was nine days before and now it's 11. So I'm not sure why that change happened. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to figure this out a little bit too. So we'll figure this out as we go along. But um, yeah, so the, the process of, you know, looking at the candidates, converting your TLM into the planetary token and voting for a custodian is pretty straightforward there. You could also, if you want to be a candidate for this planet or any planet, you could just click on this, become a candidate, but you have to fill out all this information here. Um, and then you have to abide by the rules that they have for the council on this planet. Again, you have to read through everything and then, you know, probably click and sign. I don't want to be a candidate, so I'm not going to do that. But take a look, um, go and stake your tlm for your favorite people on your planet um my i'm sticking on neron and velas for you probably already saw who i i've selected but yeah go and do it support your your favorite communities your favorite people and yeah if you have any questions you can always go to the alien worlds discord i'll post that in the links below and i am also giving away on twitter some tools to help you with mining and alien worlds so go and check out my twitter as well i'll post the link down below as well thanks guys